Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be looking at the Bear Claw. So Bear Claw sent me their new Bear Claw that is currently in an Indiegogo campaign. They sent it to me to try it out, see how well it works for me on my new to me 22 judge uh, center console. So we're gonna see how well it works. So what the Bear Claw is, it's just a, a boat retrieval hook that allows you to put your boat hook onto it and it's magnetic right here. And I have a nice pole here that will allow me to extend out and then attach it to my boat without having to get wet. Um, right here I have a little bit of a challenge because this ramp is not the greatest and the tide's actually pretty low, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, the two options I have to try to use it, I can climb on a, my trailer and get to the front part right here and then put the hook on using the bear claw. So the tie was really low that day, so I couldn't use the bear claw behind my truck. But here's a good video showing how you could if the conditions were right. I ended up using the boat dock and didn't have to get my feet wet. And the other option that I have is to go onto the boat dock and then try to attach it that way. So as you can see right now, I have the hook attached to the bear claw and uh, it's in there pretty good. Just attaches like so, even with my hook being so rusted, it's uh, not a problem just because it's metal. But I'm gonna go ahead and walk on the dock and then try to put my boat hook onto my boat. So let's go ahead and try that. So the nice thing with the bear claw is I can extend it out with the pole. You can see it extends out pretty far. It has two points to where you can do that. I'll show you guys this in more detail when I'm off the water. I just don't wanna spend too much time here on the dock because I don't wanna block everybody from coming in Make sure you have enough slack in your uh, strap so that you can do this. So all I gotta do now is just take my hook and then just line it up. Mine's kind of rusted, but we'll work with it. You can see it just attached so easily to my boat and I didn't have to get wet at all. So that's the great thing with the bear claw. So as you can see, the bear claw made it really easy for me to attach my boat hook to my boat without having to get wet. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you what the bear claw comes with. You can either just get the head by itself. This is just the magnetic head. Um, this is the part where your boat hook hooks into. Um, you also have the option of getting it with the extension pole. What's nice with the extension pole is it, this is actually really stout and uh, it extends out pretty far. You can see there. So this part, this is the part that you'd put your bear claw on. It just spit threads right on, like so. Yep, there you go, you're good to go. You can extend it out as far as you want. And then what's nice on the other end of the extension pole, oops, you have this hook, it's right there. So what you can use this hook for is uh, if you're going to be uh, attaching your boat hook from with inside of the boat, you can flip this over, reach down, grab your strap with the hook, and then put your hook on the bear claw, attach it, and then even use the hook to um, crank your winch as well. So that's a really nice thing with getting it as a set. If you guys are interested in the bear claw, I'll provide a link down below to where you can get one. So this is the first time I've ever used the bear claw and as you can see, it's really easy to use. I'll provide an update on how well it works and you know, how sturdy it is. It's pretty solid compared to a lot of the plastic ones that I've used before. So uh, we'll have to see how it is. And if you guys have any comments or questions about the bear claw, let me know in the comment section below. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>